a skeleton in the wardrobe. I have one too, in my personal wardrobe. I'll take it. Although I'm not actually someone who cooks. Soft and tender. My fall was more destructive than I thought. I don't want to pierce my pocket picking up those shards. Rule number 602 of Gallo. When the evidence is right under your butt, it's reliable. With my bare hands? Look who's back. That voice sounds familiar to me. I'm the one who could have taken you down, let you go. Boy, oh, yes, I remember. You're the mob guy who was smuggling anchovies. That's why I can smell fish. If you go on like this, somebody else will start to stink. Detective Gallo, do you remember the name? Of course. How could I forget you? Maybe because you're a good-for-nothing who doesn't know what to do with his life. Actually, I found something. By continuing to do nothing? I'm doing something. I'm meditating. I meant something useful. From up here, reality can be seen from a different perspective. Of course, with the eyes wide open. Rule number 178 of Gallo. There's no limit to how many absurd points of view you can have. Reality will always be the same. Trivial and obvious. Are you here to plan your next criminal acts? No, I'm a decent guy. I reached the green nirvana. Is the green nirvana a new age beauty salon? No, it's a macrobiotic pizza place linked to the city mob. And on Monday, the food is very good. Why only on Monday? It's the only day it's open. Between the illegal anchovy smuggling, competitor assaults, the money laundering, and police raids. You say you're decent, and yet... There's no evidence I'm still in touch with the underworld. I spend most of my time up here doing a lot of things, including digesting Monday's dinner. Tell me more about this green nirvana. Since I moved my residence to the aqueduct tower, I've learned to love nature even more than I did before. You're more of a knucklehead than you were before. Did you bump your head very hard? I'd bump it a hundred times if it was necessary to reach an epiphany. The things we do for epiphanies. I perceive a strange irony. How did you end up here? For the love of nature? My taxi's ejector seat projected me into the sky. And you landed here? Not before passing through the stratosphere. And bumping into some satellites. Then I reached the Hyper Uranian. But in the end, you fell back down didn't you? Right on this spot. You surely hit your head very hard. If you say so, try me. Can you help me climb down from this tower? I'd prefer a please, but I do appreciate the change of tone. Also, because I'm the only one who knows how to get off of here. Wouldn't you tell me for anything in the world? Show me your imperfect harmony with my life philosophy. That's all I needed. Little voice is suggesting I don't do that, because he could be useful later. Ah, it was you, Thorn. Thanks. Theoretically, I promised to give them to my informant. What are you talking about? Here's the seeds you wanted to steal. They're all yours. Thanks, detective. You've done your good deed for the day. An original way to say that I financed crime. So, how do you get down from here? You need a crowbar to pry the hatch open. And probably a lift. We're stuck on the aqueduct tower. Where can I find... You can make one very simply. Take this iron bar and find the proper support to turn it into a crowbar. Now I should thank you. Or you can do it later. I can't do that. It's stuck in the wall.
I created some space around the brick, now it's protruding a bit. Never overestimate your own strength. Never overestimate your own strength. Okay, I pulled the brick out of the wall. I can't stand items on the floor. Good, it's well secured. There we go, a crowbar ready for use. Such a shame that I had to break the hammer to make it. Rule number 209 of Gallo. When you have a master key, the world is an open door. Opened. I can sense a familiar smell, particularly pungent. Well, brothers, an important step has been taken. What the hell? We have contaminated the waters of this aqueduct, and the slaughter of the plants has started! <laughs> and very soon, all mankind will be on its last legs. We'll proceed with our conquest of the Earth when humankind has been completely extinguished! So, the culprit is the leader of an alien community. Nobody will ever suspect we're here! <laughs> Crazy to boot. Thorn, we have to stop this terrible conspiracy. We need a volunteer to go into the dump! He will have to take the toxic substances in there and spread the contamination of the water! The plants will be the first to die! Better that you're not seen by these barbarians. Psst. What do you want? I need to speak with the Brotherhood leader. If you want to volunteer, you have to take off that ridiculous terrestrial mask you're wearing. Or the Brotherhood leader would pulverize you instantly. Is that so? Nobody speaks unless he decides. Nobody thinks unless he suggests. Nobody acts unless he agrees. I don't even know him yet, and I'm already fed up. Why should I take off my terrestrial mask? If you want to volunteer, you have to show your real face to the Brotherhood leader. It's an act of sincerity. But I can talk to you like this? If you like. But I don't understand why your mask has that chicken expression. It's a rooster. I meant dopey. They weren't selling anything better on the interplanetary secondhand market. But they closed that 3,000 eons ago. It's a long story. What does the real face of a brother look like? Large head and big eyes. And a retractable tongue. Sorry for the obvious question. Do you need anything else? I'm going for a ride through the galaxy. Don't go too far. The Brotherhood is watching you. We forgot a glow stick in the pipes upstairs. Shame. It was perfect for playing cards while doing overtime. Signed, the maintenance guys. The aqueduct tower no, is just I had a bad start. experience with memos. I locked it. I'm always a man of my word. To myself. Unfortunately, I haven't got the key with me. Here's where the most treasured things are lost in the silliest ways. With my bare hands? It would take an instrument with some kind of leverage to open it. Thank <laughs> you. 